So we're gonna start with Sacred Traveler, Sacred Traveler deck. I feel really called to do a general reading um, on the energy of the collective or of those of you who feel guided to this video. I'm going to do one more shuffle here. What does this group need to know right now? What are they going through? Okay, let me get one or two more, please. What is the group watching this going through, and what do they need to know right now? Great adventure, a wondrous universe crossing bridges. Mm -hmm. So it looks like um, mm -hmm. so some of you may be on the outs with someone in your life. Um, maybe you cut them out or they cut you out, um, but it kind of feels like you cut them out. Some of you, it feels like it's been a long time ago, um, but you're maybe missing them. Maybe you feel them in your energy right now, or you have been feeling them in your energy possibly. Um, it seems as if Spirit has been guiding you to con to contact them, um, possibly, um, to heal and to mend, um, like like mending bridges type of thing. Like it feels like you are on the outs with someone, and like it was for good reason, like boundaries and such. But there's like some kind of riff in there where you're not able to move forward unless some things are talked about and like mended and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to let that person back in your life but there is something that is causing a block in your path and it's causing you not to not be able to move forward in some aspect or some area of your life um you know we've got wondrous universe welcome pd okay so to me like intuitively i'm feeling that the, whatever this is like this person or this situation or this um thing that you've walked away from that is now, or maybe during Mercury retrograde, like it started making its appearance back into your life, um, was so that you could review and notice the beauty in it, the lesson, um, even if it was a really hard situation that you were in, like notice the beauty in it because everything has a lesson, right? Everything, there is a reason for everything. Um, <clears throat> So in order to heal from it and mend whatever it is that's causing this, um, like uncomfortableness, uh, it's, it's, it needs to be, um, brought to the surface and realized, like the lesson needs to be realized and, um, mended. You don't, you, like I said, you do not have to go back to that situation or that person but there is something that is blocking you right now, okay? It could be blocking your healing. It could be blocking your abundance. It could be blocking your, the happiness that you know is like right there and it's like right in your reach, okay? We have to remember that there is, you can have happiness right now, okay? You know, it really takes, you can even start with a gratitude list and just write down everything that you're grateful for. Um, and stuff and just really focus on the present moment that can help you to see happiness right now in this present moment however this situation that that um i feel like it's a person that keeps being brought up to you is making an appearance so that you can notice the lesson in it and heal from it and move forward okay i know i sound like a broken record here but Yes. 
Okay, so, um, yes, yes, okay, I've got 55 and 65, okay, yes, okay, yeah, you are definitely being guided, uh, we've got the number 33, and it's the root portal, okay, so, um, make sure you stay grounded, and when you stay grounded, when you're grounded, um, that's gonna help you really, like, notice and realize those things that are um getting into your energy that are making you maybe feel imbalanced or making you feel kind of confused or like you feel like something needs to change but you don't know what it is um when you stay grounded um like if you go outside and it's too damn cold here right now where i live <laughs> uh for me they uh, and wet and cold outside however if you have a chance to get outside and really um release your energy into the earth you know and just center um, it will transmute everything and, and get you back into balance, like energetically. Um, so that way you can recognize, uh, the things that need, to, that you need to focus on, uh, for, so you can move forward. Okay. Um, also it'll help you if you're scared to contact this person or if you're afraid of rejection or if you are afraid of like how the conversation is going to go. Or maybe, um, or maybe like if, if that person does contact you or that situation does come back around, you definitely don't want to be in like reaction mode. You want to be in, you know, you don't want to be in that reactive mode where you're impulsive and maybe you say some things that you don't want to say and stuff like that. When you're grounded, then you're able to really calm yourself and take everything, um, mindfully and then be able to express yourself in a grounded way. Okay releasing purification and letting go yes okay this is definitely what i was feeling okay um also okay there's a huge feeling of like someone really peeking in on you as if i don't want to say you have a stalker but there it's like there's someone that who is keeping tabs on you maybe um you may be feeling this too Okay, so, um, like, there's someone in your energy, like, maybe there's somebody gossiping about you or asking others about you or something like that, okay? If it resonates, cool. If not, then just forget about it. But, um, it really does feel like there's, like, like, either, like, a messenger or someone is really, um, uh, trying to get, gather information about you, okay? That may be why this person's, like, back in your energy, Okay. So you also have a celestial assistance, assistant, uh, angel, angelic messages, guidance, and enlightenment. Okay. Yeah. So definitely need to meditate, um, so that you'll know which direction to go with this. Okay. We've got a lot of water in these cards, uh, which tells me that this is an emotional situation. Okay. This is going to help you, you know, go back to this situation, um, or to visit, revisit the the uh, subjects of um whatever it is that we're talking about you know for each person it's going to be different but you know um mercury in retrograde really gave us a chance to review and um like revisit things from our past to see uh either like how far we've come or if we want to reconsider and stuff like that right so it's it's moving direct now so um you know, I feel like you've had the chance the last few weeks to really think about and decide wh where it is that you want to go and which direction you want to take and who you want in your life, okay? Um, so you may have decided to let this person back in or you may not have, but there is definitely something standing in the way of you completing this uh, leg of your healing and, okay, and so, like, it's you're holding it in, so, like, like all this emotions are in there okay and it's going to help you release and and once you see the the lesson and the the beauty and how things in life work out okay they have a mysterious way of working out right um like it's going to help you release and like purify and feel a lot lighter and freer okay and there's no right or wrong way like i'm hearing like i'm hearing um you know, all paths are going to lead you where you, where you need to be, okay? So you can choose to, you know, going back to things of the past is not always a bad thing. It's not, okay? Because people, 
grow and people change. You know, I like the saying, a relit cigarette never tastes the same. I know a cigarette's gross, but I like that because it's true. Okay, and, 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 and it's going to be however you uh, expect it to be. Let's be real, okay? That's manifestation. That's why it's important to keep a positive mind. So if you want this person or this circumstance back in your life, you need to have a positive mindset. You're only going to get there by staying grounded, deciding what you really want, um, re re realizing the lesson in it and, and the beauty in it, and uh, like accepting that, uh, releasing your emotions that are attached to that so that you don't bring it into the new situation. And... Um, just have courage and know that you're guided, okay? I'm gonna do one more card. Let's see. What shall we do here? Okay, we're gonna do, okay, that, so that was um, from Magical Dimensions, and then this, this is the uh, Sacred Destiny. Okay, we're gonna do, I always say like one or two or three cards, but Spirit's like, nah, girl, you're taking all of these. <laughs> what else do they need to know? risk okay take a freaking risk do it if you want to go take a risk towards opportunity okay yes okay all right yeah so if you feel like you have an opportunity to mend a bridge or to reconnect with someone or reconnect with a, a situation from your past or even if it doesn't have to do with your past if it has to do like, I kind of feel like there's something that you wanted to do in the past, maybe a dream or some kind of um, plan that you had in the past that you kind of put on the back burner, okay? Um, like, I feel like now's the time to go after it, okay? And just believe in yourself. Stay grounded. Um, there, there was probably a reason why, there's definitely a reason why um, you put it on the back burner, okay? Like, don't be so hard on yourself. Go after that dream that that um that maybe that you forgot about or that you gave up on okay there is an opportunity there and the time is ripe for it go after it believe in yourself okay okay but you got to do some major releasing and getting grounded first you've got to do that okay and that's going to help you be more confident too um because you're going to feel lighter and freer all right okay yeah no and then when you do like meditation um like try to do it every day and you will see major benefits from that. And also you're going to know uh, which direction to go and like be, you're going to feel more guided because right now, like, I feel like, I feel like a lot of you know that you're guided and you feel it, but I feel like also another group of you is like, okay, I'm just kind of floating through life. You know, that's not true. Okay. Um, there's going to come a time where it's going to be shown to you and I feel like it's coming up really soon. But don't be scared. Don't be scared to take risks and um, start back up that thing that you wanted to do, whatever that was. Um, and even if you fail, even if you fail the first time, the first time, the second time, whatever, you got to keep on doing it. You got to keep trying. Just keep trying because in, in the mistakes that we make, even if it wasn't a mistake, it was just, it didn't, maybe it was, wasn't the right time or you, your aim wasn't exactly right. It's okay because we learn, we have to learn before we eventually succeed. Okay, you've got this, okay? All right, I love you guys, bye.